Hi, I'm Amy from East Bears, and in this video I'll be helping you get to the bottom of why your grass trimmer isn't cutting properly. There are a number of reasons as to why your trimmer isn't cutting properly, so in this video I'll go through a few checks to help you find out what the problem is and how to fix it. Before we begin, make sure that your grass trimmer is switched off and fully disconnected from the mains. To work out what the problem is, you'll first need to access the trimmer spool and line. And you can do this by removing the spool cover, which you do so by pressing the two tabs on either side of the trimmer head at the same time. You can then gently pull the spool cover upwards and lift it off the spool. When accessing the trimmer line, if you find that there's not enough line for the trimmer to start, you can feed it through manually. So you can pull both lines to your desired length, which is recommended three to three and a half inches. As any longer than this, it'll get cut off anyway by the blade located on the outer guard. But we'll talk a little bit more about this further on in the video. If you find that the trimmer line is tangled, this could also be a reason it's not feeding through correctly. So you can detangle the line by removing the spool and line. So to do this, gently pull the spool off the spindle that it sits on, making sure that you gently feed the trimmer line through the outlet holes. That's so that the spool and the line come away freely from the spindle and the trimmer head. Then you can easily access the line to detangle it. So you can wind the line back to the desired length and use the cleats to hold it into place. When you replace it, remember to feed the line through the outlet holes here. Then you can just push the spool back into place and so you hear it click. Then finally, you can just press the line off the cleats to allow it to feed through. Another reason your trimmer might not be cutting properly is if it's run out or is close to running out of trimmer line. If this is the case, it will need replacing, so we'll link down in the description below where you can get your hands on a replacement off our website. To replace the line, first we'll need to remove the excess line. And then we can start with the top deck and we can push a couple of centimetres of the new line in to hold it into place. Then we can do the same with the bottom deck. Then wind the line around the spool in the direction of the arrows. You'll need to do this neatly as the line won't feed if it becomes tangled. Then leave a few inches of line out and hook it onto the two cleats at either side of the spool. This will make sure that it doesn't unravel when you're replacing it. Then we can feed the extra line through the outlet holes. And slot the spool back into place inside. And it should click into place. Now that the spool is secure, you can unhook the line from the cleats, because otherwise it won't be able to feed through. Before you refit the spool cover, it's a good idea to check that it's not cracked or damaged in any way, as this could be preventing the line from going through the trimmer. If yours is cracked or damaged, then you will need a replacement. And again, we'll link down below on our website where you can find a replacement one. To replace the spool cover, just line up the tabs and there's one on either side. Then push the cover into place until you hear it click. If the spool and the line on your grass trimmer are fine, then the next thing to check is the blade. If you find that as well as not cutting properly, your trimmer is cutting into fences, flower beds and trees, or you find that the line is coming out a lot further than it should, then it's most likely to be down to this problem. As mentioned earlier, the blade prevents the cutting line from getting too long, but this blade eventually gets dull and can sometimes break off completely. So if you find that your blade is dull or broken or has come away, it will need to be replaced. So first we'll need to remove the worn blade by removing the screw that keeps it in place here. We can then put on a pair of safety gloves and pull the blade away. And 
Then we can refit the new blade and screw it back into place. We hope this video has helped you get your Bosch grass trimmer back up and running again. Whilst carrying out these checks, it's also a good idea to check the safety of your machine too. So take a look at our video down here on important checks to make sure that your grass trimmer is running as safely as possible. Before you go, be sure to also subscribe to our channel for plenty more appliance repairs, maintenance advice and all things e-spares. Thanks for watching.